You want to know how to make money such as this as a teenager? Then keep watching. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be going over 10 ways to make money as a teenager. Some of these ways I've personally done myself while in school as a teenager and I'll be giving you the pros and cons of each of them. And by the way, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this where I help you become more financially stable, make more money, and save more money. Now all of these gigs that I'm listing, I wanted to make sure had no age restriction and little to no startup cost at all. And now with that being said, let's jump straight into the video. The first way to make money as a teenager is to do retail or market arbitrage. This is a way to make money if you're familiar with marketplaces such as eBay, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist. How it works is that you would simply buy a product in one of these marketplaces and resell it for a higher price in a different or the same market and then pocket the profit. I'm probably wrong in saying this, but I like to think of this as kind of like flipping items as if you would such as flip houses. I recommend this way to make money for people who enjoy shopping on online marketplaces especially. If you're already on Facebook or OfferUp or Craigslist always browsing for items, this would be a great side hustle for you. And with that being said, if you're one who will constantly looks at video games, camera lenses, furniture, or sports equipment to buy online, get into the habit of establishing a baseline price for that item that it usually runs for. For example, I used to look at camera lenses all the time, and after a few weeks or so, I knew that certain lenses I was looking at would average anywhere between $500 to $600. If sometime in the future I see this lens run for $400 or less, I would buy it and relist it myself on the online marketplaces that I mentioned above. The cool thing about this is that you can actually turn on alerts on your phone for certain items that you're interested. I flipped a range of items ranging from aquarium tanks, boxing bags, gym equipment, computer desks, camera gear, monitors, shoes to net me anywhere between $20 to $800 profit per sale. The next way to make money as a teenager is to do online freelance writing. This is a way to make money if you enjoy writing. There are numerous sites online such as Fiverr or Upwork where you can get hired in a week for a writing gig. My recommendation is that you begin to niche down in the different types of writing that clients are looking for though. These different types of writing include SEO writing, content writing, script writing, product descriptions, and more. I used to perform this gig back in high school where I'd write content for a gaming website at a rate of about just $10 per 500 word article. My recommendation is that you niche down in a field that you're interested in, whether it be gaming, health and wellness, education, or sports. The eighth way to make money as a teenager is to edit videos. Now editing videos can be done on free software such as iMovie. All you'll need are some clients, which again can be found on Fiverr or Upwork. Editing videos can be as simple as cut and dragging in some cases, however more complex edits are where you'll really be making some big bucks. Learning the skills of color correcting, storytelling, and audio mastery are sure to land you some high-end clients who are looking for video editors. The cool thing about this gig is that it can be done on the go. I used to edit in a coffee shop, or at my friend's house, or at my girlfriend's house, or even during class. And especially, I edit anywhere in my household as well. This way of making money is something that I still do today. And how much I charge to edit a video that's around 45 seconds to 1 minute long averages to about $195 and it usually takes me anywhere from 2 hours or less. When I first started this gig specifically, I remember doing edits for just $15 each, so it's really cool to see how much my prices have gone up since then. If you're interested in having me elaborate more on how I make money by editing videos, write the words edit money in the comments below. The seventh way to make money is to record voiceovers for companies. The only con of this side hustle is that you'll most likely need a mic which can cost you about $100 to start. If you're going to start with this type of side hustle, I recommend something such as the Blue Yeti from Amazon, which I'll, link, I'll leave a link to in the description down below. Companies and businesses are always in need of voiceovers to narrate their commercials or audio advertisements. If you're someone who has a unique, 
firm voice, voice over acting may be the right side hustle for you, especially as a teenager. I personally tried this before and you would likely need to learn an audio program such as GarageBand or Adobe Audition, but the learning curve for those two programs gets exponentially easier over time, just like video editing. Now the sixth way to make money is to perform graphic design services for clients. If you're proficient with design programs such as Affinity Software or Adobe Illustrator, this may be the right side hustle for you. Design may range from anywhere from logos, brochures, flyers, caricatures, and more. I used to create logos for companies back in high school but I've stopped since then. But this is an enjoyable side hustle because it has quite the bit of creative aspect to it. Plus it's also cool knowing that something you created was going to be the first impression for someone else's business or service. To learn graphic design, you'll likely learn more by yourself if you were to play around with the programs by yourself. Use YouTube as a supplemental learning aid if you're trying to learn a program such as Illustrator. But again, the learning curve for programs like these gets exponentially easier. Now the fifth way to make money is to perform local services. I'm talking about yard work, laundry, car cleaning, house cleaning, and more. Tasks such as these can be requested off sites like Craigslist or your local newspaper. It's manual labor though and it's something I've never done. However, it is something that I've hired people to do before. The hourly rates for jobs like these are usually higher than the minimum wage as well. The only thing that I presume would be the issue is that initially work isn't as plentiful, but if you're into this kind of stuff, Recurring clients shouldn't be of a problem as you build relationships over time. Now the fourth way to make money is to dog sit. If you're someone who loves animals, then dog sitting may be the right side hustle for you. Rover is a good site to get started if you want to become a dog sitter and I'll leave a description to their website below. In addition, you'll be able to set your own schedule to work with your own job or if you go to school. You can also set the size, age, and pet preferences that work for you as well. Dog duties range from overnight boarding to dog walking. This has something I've not done before, however, I have hired someone to perform this task for me and it turned out quite well actually. Getting started with this side hustle is fairly easy as all you have to do is create a profile and then get a background check. I interviewed the pet sitter whom I worked with and they said that they were able to get their first gig within a week of creating their profile, which is fairly quick. Rover does have an age restriction though of 18 years old, however, you can have one of your parents create an account and become the dog sitter and then after their account is created you can create a joint pet sitter account with them. Now the third way to make money is to start a YouTube channel. This is an especially lucrative way to make money that can last you years if you get into the right niche. If you're someone who loves filming and editing videos, starting a YouTube channel might be the right side hustle for you. The only thing is that making a YouTube channel doesn't net you profits right away. It could take a few months before you ever see your first few cents. However, it is something worth investing time for. If you created a YouTube channel now, while you're still in high school and release two to three videos every week, I have no doubt that by the time you graduate, you'll have at least a couple thousand subscribers. There's a lot more to it though than just creating a channel, of course. Your content has to be high quality and meaningful to your audience. Posting up low quality videos that are only one to two minutes long isn't gonna cut it. Ways to make money with YouTube include advertisements, affiliate marketing, paid sponsorships, and more. The second way to make money is to start an Instagram account. Starting an Instagram account in something that you enjoy, whether it be memes, sporting news, celebrity news, or any other popular niche can be a good way to make some money. Again, like YouTube, this is a long-term investment into a way that can make you money. I imagine that a lot of teenagers these days like you are always on Instagram anyway, so why not make money with it, right? Ways to make money with an Instagram account include sponsorship deals, selling your own products, shout outs, partnerships, and more. I recommend that if you do plan on making an Instagram account that you choose a niche that you're interested in. Posting consistently is key and so is providing high quality content to your followers. The last way to make money is to start your own website or blog. Making your own website consists of posting high quality content articles similar to YouTube except you post videos. It helps to think of problems that people may have and writing articles about them. For example, being a high school student, you can think of ideas related to how to study better and retain more information or how to get better grades. These are just examples, but you get the idea, right? Again, stick to a topic that you're interested in and that'll make starting a website or blog much easier. The ways websites can make money are countless and can range from sponsorship ads, paid posts, affiliate marketing, and more. So there you have it, guys. 
10 ways to make money as a teenager starting today. And I hope you find this video helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you have any more comments, please let me know below and I'll answer ASAP. I try my best to release videos like this on a weekly basis on ways how I'm dealing with financial struggles while still in school. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.